Now, in an effort to make Vermont roads safer, one county is coming down hard on drunk drivers. Local 22's Alex Ladstatter has more on new rules that may make some think twice before getting behind the wheel. I'm here at the Grand Isle County Courthouse where drivers involved in DUIs and license suspension will now see more than just jail time or facing fines as punishment. Ten days ago, State Attorney General Doug DeSabado sent out a memo to all law enforcement agencies in Grand Isle County, informing them that effective immediately, he will be taking advantage of information outlined under Title 23 of the Vermont statutes. Under the law, the courts uh, for a, D, a DUI number two or a DLS number two, someone lost their license as a result of a DUI, the court at sentencing can order that the motor vehicle that the operator used be immobilized. DeSabado says this is all in an effort to deter individuals from driving under the influence, but was enforced after a deadly weekend. When I saw the news about the, the deadly weekend that we had, and my heart goes out to all the families and those involved, um, I felt I should let the public know that I've taken these steps. Title 23 is not new, but it is rarely used in cases. DeSabado says this will change for him. But I'm going to start using it for all the, the cases that I'm seeing. I mean, I'm seeing DLS number five, DUI number four. Uh, it, it's, it's, um, it's getting out of hand. The state's attorney says he hopes people will now think twice about operating a vehicle under the influence or with a suspended license. A family member might think twice about letting their husband, their wife, their sister, their brother, their boyfriend, their girlfriend using their vehicle, knowing that one, they're intoxicated or knowing two, that their license is suspended. At the Grand Isle County Courthouse in North Hero, Vermont, I'm Alex Ladstatter.